Right. Uh, so Im immediately after the attempted divorce, I shall try to, uh, to bring uh, partners towards um, uh, more agreeable terms again. We'll see if that is, uh, if that is going to be possible. I'd like by, to, to, to start by thanking the uh, rapporteur for the um, extremely constructive approach that he has, um, uh, that he has chosen uh, for this report. And with his, uh, with his three points, as well as a few others raised by colleagues, uh, I, c I can only agree. This indeed has to be a nonpartisan uh, report, because if there is one thing that it should not be, even if there has been a connotation that it might have been, the debate, I mean, uh, inspired by uh, such elements uh, in its earlier stages, then it, um, then it is an exercise of the left against the right or the other way around. This is uh, indeed about assessing whether or not uh, legal principles that we all, uh, uh, that we all hold on to uh, are respected in a given, uh, in a given place um, or not, on the basis of all the elements, as uh, Mrs. Weber also uh, said, on the basis of all the elements that have already been assessed by the European Commission, by the Venice uh, Committee, by all those that have looked into and at uh, Hungary and at, uh, and at the, le the legislation at stake, which is, at the end of the day, the Constitution uh, and uh, the cardinal laws, as well as, as, well as a number of uh, institutional arrangements stemming from Constitution and cardinal uh, laws. <clears throat> and we should do that, um, as the rapporteur said rightly, in uh, a spirit of respect, cooperation, transparency, and fairness. Also, uh, with regard and with respect to the Hungarian government, because one has to say at the end of the day that even though, uh, yes, we still probably have divergences of uh, interpretation and of opinion on a number of things, but uh, I doubt that it can be contested that the Hungarian government has shown its willingness. Uh, to also look at the contended elements and, uh, in case of need, to bring them in line with community legislation. So all of this will have to be uh, taken into, um, uh, into consideration. And then I believe we should try and make the report as full and exhaustive as we possibly can. Because uh, I would, for one, and I believe I'm not that alone in this appreciation, I would not necessarily like it if we had to come back to this again in six months, or in a year, or in a year and a half. Uh, this, shall be, this shall now be dealt with as, uh, uh, as uh, thoroughly, and in, in, in case of need, as critically as, uh, as, it, as it has to be. Of course, this is not an Article 7 report. This is a report which is aimed at assessing whether or not references to Article 7 might be justified at the end of the day, and not, and not the other way around. Um, so we are not uh, initiating Article 7 procedures here. We are indeed uh, responding to the call of the plenary, uh, which has instructed this committee to draw up a report uh, with a view towards establishing whether or not uh, it might be warranted to uh, think of the application of Article 7 uh, nothing, and nothing else. And um, to conclude, maybe, you know, I, um, I'm not the fondest uh, fan of hearings, <laughs> I would really like it if we could try and avoid further hearings. We've already had two. I doubt that we're going to be told very much more uh, in hearings than we have already been told, uh, and that their appreciations of the situation have been, uh, well, conflicting. Is also not something that, uh, uh, that, has been, that has been very surprising. I would, on the other hand, very, very certainly support the idea uh, of a field trip uh, to Hungary because um, I believe that, uh, as with language learning, even though, with respect to Hungary, this might be particularly tricky for non-Hungarians. But as with language learning, some immersion, uh, some immersion into, uh, into the Hungarian atmosphere of today might uh, uh, reveal itself to be inspiring uh, to the team. And on that, uh, I'll conclude and uh, express again that I look forward to cooperating with the rapporteur on making this uh, text one that Parliament, at the end of the day, can be proud of.